Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Martha Stewart Kitchen. Uh, it is the ready to bake red wine braised short ribs with vegetables. Um, it is red wine sauce reduces down to a silky gravy, enrobing fork tender short ribs, carrots, turnips, and celery root. A touch of cocoa um, adds a rich depth of flavor to this elegant meal. Hmm, sounds interesting. It's nine ounces or 255 grams. We bought these at Kroger. It was $7.25, which is a little high for a meal, but you know, that's how much they are. Um, it is only, it's 360 calories, so that's not low, but it's not high either. Um, and there's your other information. Calculate whatever you want. You know, that's how it is. So, there's uh, what it says about it. So, here's the directions. So, it does have oven directions. If you want to bake this, you bake it right in the pan for 30 to 35 minutes. We don't do ovens, but, but there they are if you want it. We just do the microwave. So we're going to remove the tray from the cart and peel back corner to vent. Uh, place the red wine braised sort of vegetables in the center of the microwave directly on top of a microwave safe plate. Away from the walls, the oven has a metal shelf for removing it from heating. Uh, this tray is aluminum, so that's why. Cook for four to five minutes on high. I'll probably do four and a half. Heat only one middle of the time. Pan will be hot. Stir and heat for an additional minute until the temperature reaches 165. So four and a half. Um, stir and then heat for another, um, yeah, heat for another minute. So, let's see, no pull tabs on these. And it's well glued. I will get it open. This is why they have, you have to pull tabs on meals. Alright, there it is. Mm, looks like you get one, two, three, four, five, and maybe a half, maybe a six piece. It doesn't look like there's much else in there but that. Um, let's see, you're supposed to vent this. And they're hard to grab a hold of sometimes. They didn't put a, like a little grab tab on here. They're all the same um, size. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and uh, be right back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave, and you can see uh, quite a bit of, quite a decent pieces of uh, hunks of, like, roast in there. I know there says they're ribs, but they look like roast. Um, a couple of potatoes, a big whatever that is, a turnip, or it's pretty firm, so it's not a potato. Um, so anyway, I'm going to, yeah, that's kind of, definitely should have cut that into smaller pieces before it got put in the container, because that is kind of, uh, that is kind of hard. I don't even know if I can cut that. I know I can stab it. Yeah, I'll try to eat it anyway. So I'm going to take us over to the table and uh, give it a try. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off. Not, not very long. I cut up some of the, the pieces of the rib, um, the short ribs up just to make them more bite-sized. So here's a carrot and a short rib. There, there's not a whole lot of other things in here. It's mostly just a few carrots. I think you get some onions in here. Let's see if I can get a piece of onion stabbed on here. There we go. Um, I don't think it's onion. Could be celery. I can't tell. Anyway, here we go. And the vegetables are crunchy, like the carrot. It's like a raw. They were really just hanging a raw carrot and shoved in here. So I'm assuming this is like a turnip. Didn't it say I had turnips in here? But I can read it. I can't. Um, Carrots, turnip, and celery root. Okay, I've got a piece of celery. Uh, I think the only piece of turnip I see in here is this. It's one big piece. Let me see if I can buy into that. Yeah, that's definitely a turnip. Um, that is probably the worst part of this, honestly. Um, everything else, the, the, the gravy is really good. It actually has a really good flavor. Um, if they cut this turnip into smaller pieces, it might be better. Um, that way you could eat it with the meat. But they didn't. They left it in this huge hunk. Now that was a piece of smaller um, turnip I ate with the meat. And it was good and tender. So I don't know why they left that really big hunk. That just seems like that's bad quality control if you ask me. Um, Flavor-wise, it's okay. You do get a little bit of that red wine flavor. Not strong. It's not like you're drinking red wine. But you do get a different flavor um, in that uh, with the red wine, with the gravy. Truth be told, though, 
90% of the flavor you're getting in here is just the meat itself. And it tastes like, just like a roast. It tastes like any other uh, beef roast you might have uh, if you have it at home. There's not a lot of uh, um, seasonings in here. No, not a lot of, uh, you know, salts or peppers or garlic or any as onion. I mean, I don't taste really a lot of that stuff. I'm sure it's all in there, but you don't, those aren't standout flavors. What you really taste is the meat. My problem is um, I can make a whole roast at home for probably less than $10, you know, like nine dot bucks. This would be like one hunk that I would slice off of that um, roast I would make at home. Um, for $7.25, I think it's way too expensive for what you get. I mean, I know it's lunch, but like I said, you can take, you can make a whole uh, roast at home and um, cut off hunks of it and just have it with good roast uh, potatoes and carrots and onions and all that stuff, make it at home and have leftovers for a whole week um, for less or the same price at least as this. So. Um, cost is a factor. The flavors are just okay. I mean, it's just neat. I mean, it's really nothing special, really spectacular. Like I said, you do get a flavor of that reduced down uh, red wine um, gravy, but that's about it. That's really the only other flavor in here. So I just don't think it's worth the price. Um, I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Um, the flavors, again, even if this would have been, if this had been a $3 meal, I would have still given it a three out of five just because the flavors are just okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.